Yo, I'm back with another video. Yo, this morning, gonna jump right into it. Uh, beautiful morning this morning. Nice and sunny outside. Great day in uh, December, man. We have we having some great couple days here. And uh, today I was gonna get straight over to Reggie's and get to work, but he actually has to go and pick up some uh, parts. So he said he's gonna be gone for a while. So it's a couple of things I needed to do actually to the Ford C-Max, my daily driver. So I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna bleed the brakes and I needed to do an inspection that I hadn't done. So I'm gonna run over and get the car inspected after I bleed the brakes. Um, the car was kinda, when you hit the brakes, lunging forward a little bit. So I didn't wanna, um, you know, throw the inspection guy through the windshield. So what I think it is, I think it's the back brakes. The back brakes seem to have a little air in the system. So because it was sitting for a long time. So I'm hoping that if I bleed the brakes that I saw the problem, we'll find out. Uh, also, uh, I want to give a big shout out to Stunner, man, you know, and uh, wish him all the best of luck down there in Miami. I know he's recently just got back. He's getting settled in. I haven't talked to him this morning. I try not to bother him too much in the morning time, especially now that he's getting settled in. I know he's been having some long days you know, getting himself together. I talked to him yesterday, so he was still, you know, moving and grooving, getting himself together. But, you know, he didn't forget about Cuz before he left. He left me this, the smart garage control. This this device here controls your uh, garage from your phone. You actually can open and close the garage. It has a couple more features on it. Uh, it's all done off your phone, and you can do it from anywhere in the world. So. I'm gonna definitely take you guys along on the journey installing this so you guys can check it out too. But also I wanna thank Tommy or TK as he as he would like us to call him. Appreciate you, Tommy. He uh definitely the mount that I'm using right now, it's uh, uh it actually follows you. It got a lens and it actually follows you everywhere you go. So I don't have it actually turned on. Let's turn it on. Like damn, what am I doing? Turn this device on. Let's see if we can get it on. And you guys can get a uh, feel for what I'm talking about here. Like I said, look at there. Tommy, appreciate you, man. You ain't have to do this, but you did, bro. Can't say thanks enough to you and Stunner. Um, definitely got uh, this piece, too, a good friend of mine gave me. It's called a, a power grip charger. What this is is actually... It's like, you know, the stick you hold in your hand. It doesn't move or anything 360. This thing does. It'll follow me up wherever I want to go. So, uh, but yeah, it comes with a cord. It comes with a tripod at the bottom as well. I don't know if you can see it there. It actually has a tripod. So, and it'll actually keep your phone charged while you're vlogging so your battery won't go dead. That's a big problem when you're vlogging. You ain't got no way to charge your phone. So, yeah. But uh, we're going to get out here, man. I'm going to throw my coat on, get out here, and get this day started. And uh, take y'all along the journey, man. Once again, shout out to TK and shout out to Stunner for uh, giving me these couple of pieces here, man. Y'all didn't have to do it, man. I really appreciate y'all. Can't say it enough. Thanks for all the love and support that, you know, you guys have been giving me on the channel. Thanks for all the advice you've been giving me on the channel. You know, man, I appreciate everything, man. And once again... Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And yeah, I'll see y'all on the outside. Let's go ahead and get this uh this vehicle checked out. All right, so just like that, we got the um we got the tripod. I'm using the one with the stick on it, and uh, I got it extended up. We're gonna use that one. Y'all see what's in the garage? Now, this is much better than holding your phone in your hand. I don't know what I was waiting on so long. Yeah. But we got the C-Max pulled up. We're going to set this tripod down. We're going to get the wheels taken off. Now, like I said, we can adjust the angle to whatever angle we want. So we'll put it up high on top of one of my grills here we'll angle it down a little bit 
There we go. Boom. So I didn't realize that my jack is kind of, I could probably get it out. No, that's all right. I have to pull the Acura out to get my jack out.
repeat the process for each wheel. With these uh, lug covers, man, I don't feel like beating them on, so I know I take a risk of stripping them, but I don't put them so tight while I strip them. So, you have to go from 19 to a 20 because of these covers. Man, these covers are the worst. But, if I take them off, they're gonna be ugly. You're gonna leave them a little black, open end lugs. Acorns, I guess they call them. I don't like that look. So, just uh, don't crank on them too hard. Get a bar and tighten them down the rest of the way. Self-made dig. Need your feet, boy. look to be about 60% so they definitely good Give me a second. They still hard, right? Alright, hold it for a second. So definitely got air in the system. Go ahead and pump it up. Pump them up ten times. Okay, get it hard that time. Okay, I figured it, it feel like an air over here. Hold it. Pump it up. Got hard. Oh, my 
All right, so upon talking to Dig, what did you say about the brakes, Dig? 100% better with that back brake. It was air in the line with that one. The pedal came up? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I'm not always right, but I've been around cars long enough to know. And I kind of figured it was the back brakes because it was jerking forward. And I felt like the back brakes wasn't grabbing like they were supposed to. So I ain't going to take y'all on the whole journey. I'm going to get to the other side, get it done, get to the inspection place, and um, get this car inspected. And I'll holler at y'all when I get to the inspection place. Several hours later. We're going to jump right into this, the important part of this video. Remember I told you guys, head over to Reggie and get the remote starts. You know, it's cold outside, and not only the cold factor... I call them vultures. The vultures is out. Well, uh, one of my bros called me this morning. The vultures actually got them, but they didn't get the vehicle. But I told y'all, nonetheless, it would be an inconvenience. And nonetheless, it's an inconvenience for him because he just bought a 2023, 2022 or 23. I don't know which one, but a brand new Dodge Durango. And um, he ain't had it a week, a good solid week and a half. And yeah, the the Dodge boys tried to get him. Uh, they busted out his window. They ripped wires from the bottom of the dashboard. Now he's got to get the vehicle towed. He's got to call the insurance. He's got to get the window fixed. You know, it's an inconvenience, none to say the least. And he missed a day at work. You know, and that right there is an inconvenience. When it's costing you money and you can't even make your money, that right there is an inconvenience to say the least. You know, now having to possibly rent a vehicle, you know, uh, because he can't get to work. You don't know how long the dealer going to have it. Don't know what they're going to find that they did. Whatever they did, they disabled his, his key fobs. You know, so his remote doesn't work. Uh, he can still get in the vehicle with the little turnkey, but the vehicle won't start, won't power up. The vehicle is in shutdown mode or something. Or, you know, like I said, it's just not recognizing the key fobs. So, you know, nonetheless, it's a, that was one of my neighbors. Uh, nonetheless, it's a big inconvenience, you know, um, I'm over here now trying to give him a hand. It's not inconveniencing me because I don't mind. Like I said, I'm there for whoever needs me whenever they need me. I try to be there as long as, you know, I can. Sometimes I just can't. I may be working. You know, I may be at the shop. I may be, you know, doing anything. If I just can't make it, I just can't make it. But it just so happens this fell at a time where I can make it over here and take a few minutes out to give him a hand and, uh, you know, definitely uh make sure he's safe and everything until uh he gets it to the dealer but the next stop for him is an alarm you know i talked with reggie this morning we gonna uh definitely you know uh also when you're doing these alarms you know you want to put these alarm brains in a good place you don't just want to hang them down there by the kick panel you know uh depending on my, how much time that person has when they trying to actually rob you of your goods, your car in this instance, you know, they may be smart enough to reach up under there and try to unplug it if they got enough time, you know. Uh, but 
when you add an alarm, it 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 cuts that risk because you know they're not able to get in like now with a factory vehicle they could just bust the window and get in you know it's real simple an alarm is not going to go off at all a lot of people think oh i got an alarm no no you don't you got a, a door switch it's all you got as long as they don't open that door your alarm ain't going off so in this instance when you add an alarm anytime you bump the vehicle is going off so that shortens the time that they got to actually go to work on your vehicle. So, and then if you don't have the brain in such a place that they can reach up and, and snatch the plug out or something like that, or cut the wires or whatever they gonna, the hell they gonna do or how they do it, as long as that stuff is not in, in arm's reach, they gonna be there a while and they don't wanna deal with that. You know, they rather go to an easier target. Um, Yeah, so, I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of, of, of what these guys have done in this process. I'm going to holler at bro a little bit off camera. We're going to, you know, go over a few things, you know, for him, for his security. And then uh, i get back with y'all once we uh, get over to the vehicle. How's it going? So like I said, a big inconvenience. Also, if you guys need any glass, auto glass repair, go see my guys here. That's okay. So as I told you, uh, they messed up the key. So you're going to hear that noise in the background from the horn blowing. But yeah. The factory key won't work. Nothing won't work. So let me uh, get back to it with these guys. I'll show you a little bit of the inside as well. What's going on? Give me a few seconds here. As y'all see, this is the area that they did whatever they done and they disabled the car. I don't know what they did back there, but whatever they did, they messed it up. So... All right, we're gonna get this glass repaired. We're gonna get this glass repaired and get this vehicle to the dealer. Get those alarms, get those remote starts. This is the season, you need to get them done. All right, as y'all see in the background, I got the Durango back at my crib. I'm gonna put it in my garage for a few days until uh, Reggie get ready to put the necessary things on that alarm and some other couple things on that we got stored in store. But yeah, the windows back fixed. Give y'all a good look at this new Dodge Durango. This is an RT version. Unfortunately, they tried to get us. They thought they had us when they went down there and got to that port. I bet they won't try this one again after after we get done. This mug ain't going nowhere. We're in the process now vacuuming all the glass up. The mess that they made. Yeah. Real nice truck. We're gonna we're gonna lock it down for bro so he don't have these issues no more. And uh it's just unfortunate, man. But like I told y'all and I said it in this video earlier, man, the vultures is out. So make sure y'all locking y'all stuff down, make sure y'all being extra vigilant and uh watching yourself, keep your head on the swivel at all times, and uh, you know, secure yourself so you won't have to go through stuff like this, you know, and do the necessary things like alarms and you know other security things that you can do depending on your vehicle 
in order to secure your, your vehicle, man. You know, we spend a lot of money on these vehicles and just let somebody walk away with it, man, you know? Um, yeah, he got insurance. Of course, bro got insurance, but who want to go through that, you know? Don't nobody want to go through that. I know I don't. I don't know about y'all. But, yeah, we're going to uh, finish cleaning this out. And uh, we got a couple more things to do today. And uh, I'll get back with y'all a little bit later. So, finally made it in. Dropped bro off at the house. Shot right back. Um, you know, it's a very unfortunate situation that happened to him. But we all go through it at some time or another. Um, it's just one of them things, man. The voltage is out and you gotta, you gotta prepare yourself. So, bro definitely will be putting an alarm on there. I, I'm gonna be adding a couple extra security pieces to keep him from ever having this issue again. Um... Yeah, especially with them Dodges. Y'all want to do the, definitely do the research and uh, add all all the features you can to secure your vehicle. You know, but not just Dodges. Kias, I think Reggie got a Kia over there he's having issues with. Well, he ain't having issues with. The owner was having issues with somebody tried to get her. Um, yes, but, uh, you know, like I said, you just want to add as many safety features as you can, you know. But yeah, I'm going to get up off of here, give me some rest. And uh, I got a big day tomorrow. I got a full install to do. So definitely going to take y'all along on that journey. And, uh, you know, I appreciate all the love that you guys been showing me on, on this channel. You know, I can't say enough. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And, uh... I'm looking forward to tomorrow being, a, you know, a great day doing this full install. I definitely want to take y'all along on that, on that journey with me. So I'm going to holler at y'all tomorrow. I'm out. Give me some rest.